Hey YouTube, I'm gonna make a video today about this uh, device, the uh, M Audio M Track Duo. All right, if you are watching this video, I assume you uh, are interested in this and you know what it is. But I have made another video where I kind of explain what it is, why it's important, um, and how it's kind of different because of the price point. All right. Uh, but this video is going to be about how to get it to work with Android. And if you look, even M Audio says this doesn't work with Android, but I'm telling you, uh, I've got it working with Android, no problems. And uh, I'm going to tell you how I do that in this video. All right. Um, now, one important thing about this uh, process is... You know, really, you're dealing with USB, okay? We're not dealing with the uh, audio outputs. Everything's going to go through your USB. That's really the whole purpose of this, is to get a digital signal. All right, so the other thing that's very important is your Android device. Um, what are, you know, what version of Android do you have? All right, so uh, a lot of the Android information is terribly outdated uh, that you uh, see on the Internet because it was written years ago. Uh, I guess Android 5 was when Android started supporting USB audio. And so the farther you get away from Android 5, I think the better off you'll be. I got uh, Android 10 on this device. I bought this, by the way, for about $150 on Amazon. And uh, one important thing I was looking for was uh, it supports an SD card. Uh, you can put up to a uh, 512 gigabyte uh, SD card in this thing, so uh, you're going to need storage if you're recording audio. Uh, and this is, a, if I haven't mentioned it, Android 10. So uh, quite quite far away from uh, Android 5 when they first started supporting USB audio. The two settings you need to look at in Android are um, o OTG, and you also need to look at your USB settings. Now, my device was set up uh, default to, to uh, support everything, but uh, I'll explain to you what, um, what you need to look at for both the OTG and the uh, USB. All right, OTG is um, just basically, it's just an adapter, okay? <laughs> you know, that's what, you know, like you get a plug like this, which is like the original kind of USB and it's not gonna fit in your USB-C uh, port. But this is also, in addition to being an adapter, what it does is it has, um, it allows you, your, your uh, like in this case, the, the Duo, to be controlled by your uh, Android device. So it's, a, it's this is dual function. The, the adapter is like the physical thing, but the OTG, is what you got to look for and that's the capability somehow in there it allows your Android device to control a USB device otherwise that just think it's two computers <laughs> all right so this is what uh, basically changes it and lets the, the Android know oh you have something that you can control uh, plugged into you and that's the USB OTG adapter in this case it's a C but uh, you might have a micro I would imagine that probably would work uh, but you'd have to get a different OTG adapter I got mine on Amazon for about six dollars and fifty cents and I got two you need a microphone <laughs> this is just the inexpensive dynamic microphone I'm not gonna endorse it but uh, say it. I'm happy with it uh, and, and the di the dynamic mic friends don't need any external power. That's the one thing at this point in time I have not checked my uh, condenser microphones. So, but I can tell you that the dynamic uh, work no problem, and I, I expect that the condenser will work as well. Um, so we covered the OTG. Those are in your uh, system settings. You got to get like uh, developer access, which is more complicated than it actually is um, you, but you just click on something three times and then you get to control some advanced settings 
But when I went into my OTG settings on this, it was set up correctly for you know, uh, OTG use was enabled in the as a default. So I didn't need to change anything. Uh, now the other setting that you may have to uh, adjust in your um, Android is uh, your USB setting. Now in 10, it's default setup, Android 10 is default setup for a USB audio. So they have actually, um, the only setting available to you uh, in your USB section of advanced options is to, dis to disable it. But of course, we don't want to disable it. Uh, but if you have an older um, version of Android, that um, you may have to go into your USB settings and uh, enable USB audio. But I didn't have to do that because this is a very recent version of Android. And as I said, you probably, the closer, you, you know, if you got Android 8 or 9, it's probably chances are more likely that the default settings are correct. Um, so, in any case, you plug your, uh, your, your OTG adapter onto this. You plug this into your Android device. And then the other one goes into your uh, Duo. All right, now, you know, the Duo, you know, a couple of LEDs flash, but the Duo, is, it's hard to tell if it's working or not. Um, you know, I did check. And uh, one thing about this device is it doesn't have a separate power supply. The power uh, comes right from the USB cord. So you are going to need uh, USB 2.0 uh, on your Android device. If, it, if you don't have that, I, yeah, I don't think it's going to work because I believe that's what enables the, uh, the, the power to come through the USB cable. Uh, but USB 2.0 is pretty old. I think they're on USB 3 plus now. USB ports. I'm talking about the hardware. Uh, they, the hardware is either 1, 2, or 3. USB-C, it's probably uh, 2.0. But I'm not guaranteeing it. <laughs> Alright, so anyways, I, I got off track there. How do you tell this thing is on? Well, you, um, first of all, plug your headphones into this. And you may need an adapter, like, because this is a quarter inch. You might need a quarter inch to eighth inch adapter. Because most uh, consumer headphones have the eighth inch adapter the most small one and this is uh for like professional uh quarter inch but it, it an adapter works fine and then uh you play a video or something and if if you got sound coming off your uh headphones it's working this takes the place of your uh internal sound processing in the android so it controls both the input and the output everything goes through this so uh, there is all. There are also um, outs on the back. You can go to powered speakers if you have those. Um, but I just uh, was using the headphones, and uh, so that's how you know the out out audio output is going through this device. Is just play a video or a, a music or something if you can hear it. It's processing that uh, video or that audio. I mean. And then uh, let's check the input. Probably the easiest way to do that would be to um, plug your mic into either input and uh, just like open up Google and uh, you should be able to uh, like voice input onto the, by clicking the uh, microphone on the Google search. And then uh, just talk into your microphone. If the words are transcribed, uh, then you know it's working. Okay, you could try it like a voice recorder program and record and play back if you want okay and then so if your headphones and your microphones are working uh, then you know this device is working uh, no problems and it worked uh, so I'll, I'll probably do some future videos I'll talk about okay I gotta test out the condenser microphone and the phantom power but uh, 
you know, for dynamic microphones and uh, audio output, this, this thing works with Android uh, 10. You can verify that. All right. Uh, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, put them in the comments. And maybe I, when I do another video on this thing, I'll talk about it or I'll answer you in the comments. Thanks. Bye.